How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and it is with great excitement that I bring you this season of the Map Reading Challenge. And we're not just going up a whole new level this year. We're going up a whole quadruple new level. I'm not just taking out one or two teams this year. I'm taking out four teams. And this year, the guys are competing for some major grand prizes. The top overall prize is a brand new Botec Rain 6. The team with the highest score, they're each going to get an XOP Air Raid tree stand. And stay tuned till the end of this video so you can find out how you can win a brand new Rain 6 and you can win an XOP Air Raid tree stand. But first, let's meet the Men of Faith. That's the name of this team, Men of Faith. <music> All right, folks, welcome to base camp. We got our first guy showing up right now. I can hear him coming down the road. Here comes John Klopp, baby. All the way from Florida. Step right up. You're our first the contestant. First yes. <laughs> welcome, doing, man? man. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too, man. God bless you. God bless you. I got the camera all set up. We're gonna... Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Is that new? Yeah, that's the... John Klopp, welcome to the state of Maryland for the Map Reading Challenge. Tell me about your drive. How was your drive up here from Florida? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's a pretty long drive. Uh, I hit some bad weather in Georgia. Uh, maybe about an hour, two hours of bad weather. Very bad thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. And I muddled through that. Took it kind of slow. Um, but once I got through that, it was pretty much smooth sailing. I got to Winchester, Virginia last night around 2 o'clock in the morning. So that's where I stayed. And then I got up this morning. I hit, hit Walmart to see if I could find some bear spray. Mm. Which uh, <laughs> I guess I kind of thought I'd be able to find some of that around here. But not so Yeah, because there are a lot of bears. Hang yeah, on. might need some of that. But anyways, yeah. Um, and then I just started heading out here and man, the... The weather's beautiful in the low 70s. Yeah. Uh, the sun was out. That's not going to last long. They're yeah. calling for, we're basically calling to get rained out this whole right. this whole scout trip. My biggest concern is will the GPSs be able to even catch a signal in that situation? But what would be your biggest expectation coming into the map reading challenge? Get out of here, bug. Um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, it's a challenge. I, I really want to challenge myself. I'm kind of new. I've only been hunting for a few years. I haven't actually killed a buck yet. Um, I've been with my son on a youth hunt. He's killed two of them. <laughs> so he's two of them. Tell him so I want to kind of even off. the score a little bit yeah. if I can. Yeah. Um, so I want, I want to learn some stuff. Yeah. Um, so I, I think this will really, yeah, force me to, yeah. you know, learn a lot of stuff. And Well, our plan right now is the other, while the other guys are going to get here, we're going to go over some map stuff and then maybe uh, we'll see how things work out. Maybe I'll take you for a walk with me here. Cool. A little bit. All right, guys, or guy, let's wait for the other guys to show up. Okay, before we move on to the next guy, I want to briefly tell you how the map reading challenge works in case you're not already familiar with it. So what we do is we study the maps in advance. We pick out the top spots and then we go for a one day scout and visit the top waypoints we put in our GPS. We then come back a month or two later and hunt that location for two and a half days to see if we can score on a deer just by studying the maps and a brief scout. Each hunter has the opportunity to earn a score and it's based on how effective he is in the hunt. In the scoring system, how soon in the hunt he gets it, meaning like if it's the very first hunt, you get a higher score than it's the very last hunt because that means you were super effective in putting yourself in the right spot right away. So, so things that contribute to your score are things like the number of hunts. So hunt number one gets a higher score than the, the last hunt, hunt number five. 
uh, how close your shot was. If it's a 20 yard shot, you get higher points than if it's like a 35 yard shot. How vital the hit is, if you hit it in the heart and lungs, that's a higher score than if you hit it in the guts. So all of that comes together to create the hunter score. And that's basically how the map reading challenge works. If you want more details on that, go to the map reading challenge page of my seansoutdooradventures.com website. There's a downloadable scoring sheet there and more instructions. Now let me tell you how these guys can win an Exco P air raid tree stand and how you can as well. So a typical doe harvest on a map reading challenge, the score is gonna come out to be around 150. So a hunter that goes and go, does a map reading challenge and gets the doe and ends up with uh, 150 points, I'm gonna add a zero to that because another major part of his overall score toward the XOP air raid tree stand is how many views his videos get. And each hunter is gonna get a scouting trip video and a hunt video. So let's say that his scouting trip video has a thousand views at the end of the door. It's gonna go until the end of January, the, the uh, view count. And then his hunt video, let's say that gets 2,000 views. So there's a total of 3,000 here. We'll take that 3,000 and add it to his total score for 4,500. So that's gonna be that hunter's overall score. The way you can help a guy win is by sharing his videos and getting people to watch them and, and commenting on them. The more you comment on a video, the more YouTube continues to promote it. So commenting is gonna be really helpful for these guys. And if you wanna see a guy win, you need to drive up the score. Now, when it comes to the Air Raid tree stand, here's a box for one right here. This is the tree stand that they're gonna win and that you have a chance to win. Now, I'll quickly say before I tell you how they can win, the way you win is simply going to my website seansoutdooradventures.com on the bottom of just about every page is a way to sign up for my newsletter. Uh, partway through the season I'm going to send out a registration form for the giveaway because I'm going to need people's address if I'm going to be able to ship this thing out. Um, and probably get a phone number because I would love to call you live to tell you if you're the winner or not. So. You're gonna to need to be on my newsletter and at some point during this hunting season, the newsletter is gonna go out and you'll get a chance to register to win the XOP Air Raid tree stand. So now each team has three members. We're gonna take all three members total score here and add it up and the team out of all four teams, the team with the, the highest overall score, they're all gonna win the XOP Air Raid tree stand. So that's the basics. Now let's go on and meet the next guy for this team, Men of Faith. Yeah, right there. Dan. Don't need to have my sunglasses on. You can do it however you want, Dan the man. All right, Dan. So I was, I got a camera over here pointing at me so people can see what I'm doing. But I was off in the woods showing John how to detect deer compressions in the leaves. Yeah. And we didn't even hear Dan pull up in his stealthy super deluxe car over here. Like ours are big, loud, clunky cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it what it is it what is it? A fit. That's a Honda okay. fit. A Honda fit. Okay. All right, Dan. You'd be surprised what could fit in it oh, and yeah. where it can fit. Uh, that's, that's, that's a, a, well, it's aptly named. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's aptly named. I, I've been rolling in that Honda Civic for the last however many years yeah. and when I was loading up the pilot that we got now, I'm like, this is glorious. Yeah. Now you know it can fit a little easier. All right, Dan. So welcome <laughs> to the map reading challenge in the state of Maryland. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Dan. I am a father of four, which I'm really excited about. We have a big time, two boys and two girls. I teach high school, um, biology and mostly anatomy. And, um, I feel like I'm... So you do like cad cadavers and stuff like that? Uh, with, yes. <laughs> right. No, you can't is, even do that in is, some medical is, school. Is dissecting deer fun to you? I don't know, it's work, but uh, I do enjoy pointing out to my kids some of the internal the organs, it's, it's fun. So, it, go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead. What no, you I was just gonna say, interestingly, um, my mom is a nurse. Okay. Uh, and the last time I was processing a deer, she was helping. Nice. And she thought it was really interesting getting to see some of that anatomy yeah. because old school nursing, yeah. I guess they didn't dissect oh, yeah. much. Oh, yeah. Well, l let me throw this in. My wife is a nurse as well. Yeah, okay. And when I met her, the day that I met her, 
I said, yeah, I'm going hunting later today, da, 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 just to see her reaction. She's like, oh, I've always wanted to gut a deer. And I was like, <laughs> <"Ching."> <laughs> That's right. I was like, if I get a deer tomorrow, I'll invite you out. You can gut yeah, it. Yeah. Got a deer the next day. She came out and gutted it. And I'm thinking, this is awesome. And then, But that was like a, it turned out to be a bucket list for her. I got so, it. Okay, so okay. She's like, okay, I'm done with deer now. So anyway. Okay, but still, it was a great first start, right? Yeah. It was a great so, start. Let me ask you this question. Why the map reading challenge? Why did you apply for this? That's a great question. Um, I, when I started hunting, I started with a friend of mine. He introduced it to me mm -hmm. um, about 10 years ago. So I was late, I was a late comer. Late he, he then moved away and uh, I tried to go back to the our hunting spots, but they were all private property. And when I talked to the owners, they're like, no. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't, don't know, know you. you. We don't know you. Get out. Uh, yeah. So. Um, You're not cool enough, Dan. No <laughs> doubt. So I went uh, with my father-in-law for a little while to one place. That was all the hunting ground I had. And I had steered away from public ground. Uh, anyway, I did find some other private places to hunt. But I really want to push my skills a little bit. Right. And... Uh, try to weasel my way into public land where in our area it's just like jam-packed with orange so i'm yeah. hoping uh to well, you get in there in archery season it's not nearly as bad so. that's what i'm hoping like yeah. i'm hoping i can find places that are sort of you know off the beaten path a little remote yeah. uh have some success you know just yeah. kind of pushing myself in that right. in that way so. well dan thanks so much you did a great job <laughs> in your interview. Okay. and um he was a little bit worried about that but you did a great job you know that's Let's go do some uh, some more looking at stuff. Everybody. Yeah. We'll get you set up for this public land stuff. Let's do it. I'm excited. All right, now let me tell you how one of these guys can win the brand new Bowtech Rain 6 and how you can as well. As I said before, let's say the guy's hunting score was 150. He got a doe. We put a zero on the end to make it 1,500. His scout trip video got a total of 1,000 views, let's say. Uh, and that's going to get added. His hunting video got 2,000 views. So right now he's sitting at 4,500 for a total score. The, the way that you can help him and also get your name in to win the Bowtech is Bowtech is actually going to build a web page that's going to have all these guys on it. The videos that I'm going to produce on them is also going to be embedded right there. And this web page is going to be on Bowtech's website and I'm going to embed the same page on my website. So it's all gonna be integrated. And when you vote for one of these guys, all you have to do is vote one time for one of these guys, your name goes into the lottery to be drawn to win that Botex Rain 6. That's all you have to do. The guy that you vote for does not have to win or anything like that. All you gotta do is vote one time. Now let's say a thousand people voted for this person. That's gonna bring his total score to 5,500. And again, the person with the highest overall score out of all 12 guys is going to get the Bowtech Rain 6. So if there's a guy you're really pulling for, you need to comment, 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 and share, share, share. Get people to comment that you know. And the more that the video is commented on, the more that YouTube promotes a video because it shows fan engagement. So you have to watch the video, watch it through. If you... If you start to click off early, then it kind of knocks it down a little bit. YouTube wants to see people really watching the whole thing. So that's how you can help your guy out. Watch it through and comment, share it with people, get as many of your friends in your network to vote for your guy. And if you want to get your friends in on getting a chance at the Bowtech Rain 6, make sure you go to the website and vote for your guy. Now let's go on and meet the last guy on this team before we close out this video. All right, Aaron. You are here. You made it all the way from Texas. Made it. Uh, and I was just messing with your camera and deleted your uh, <laughs> your footage from the trip. So how, how does that make you feel right now? Oh, it's really not that big a deal. I mean, quite honestly, it met, like takes away all the, the stupid things that I said. <laughs> oh, wait. So that way it's like nobody ever knows that that actually happened. So it's a good thing. It right, really yeah, is okay. a good thing. I was losing my mind uh, with little sleep. Well, folks, I got to tell you that this is... Aaron Jones, and he is one of the original super fans from like when I uh, when I first started getting a little bit bigger on YouTube. I had a couple people that stood out as people that were supporting me, and and this guy was was by far clearly one of them. And so when he made an application this year to be on the Map Reading Challenge, I mean he was a shoe in. And so I mean, tell me what was your real reason for wanting to come out and do this? Uh, since. 
I think I've been watching your videos since 2000, late 2012 to 2013. Yeah. And I remember when you started out, like with the, each episode in each like season, you you go on several hunts and make an episode out of it. Yep. And uh, ever since that, I always wanted to hunt with you. <laughs> That's I wanted cool. to come up here in the mountains and uh, try out on the, the map reading stuff and being That's able cool. to uh, read the maps and pick a spot. And that's what, I mean, it's what got me to, to be the hunter I am today through that's your cool. uh, map reading uh, video. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks. Well, you know, we had to stop and say a special thanks to your fiance yes. for letting you come out because you guys are getting married like right after the map reading challenge. Yeah, like uh, like three weeks after. Yeah, so thank you for allowing them to come out. So um, what's your biggest like hope or expectation for this whole event that we're doing here one of us gets a, gets a deer down right regardless of that be a buck doe indifferent cool. to me yeah as long as we get something down on the ground it's a success in my books i yeah. mean even even if we don't and we we get some good reconnaissance reconnaissance and uh be able to uh better ourselves next time yeah uh, that's i mean that's that's a success too but we really want to try to get something on the ground for sure absolutely all right man well i'm excited get ready to do this let's do it Okay, now you've met the whole team, Men of Faith. Let me give you a forecast of what to expect here. So I have three more teams to introduce you to. There's going to be a video like this for each of them, so you get to know the guys. I also did some challenges and competitions in the context of the scout trips. So you're going to see those videos before I start airing the scout trips. And remember, it's when that the scout trips begin to air, that is when all the voting and everything is going to start. So it's not going to start right now today. It's going to start when the scout trip videos begin. And that's going to probably be in a couple weeks. And in addition to all the map reading challenge videos, I do have other videos and content that will be rolling out each week in the context of all this. So be looking out for both. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will say this. When the prizes are awarded for these guys, it's going to be the night before the Great American Outdoor Show in February. And the winner of the XOP Air Raid Tree Stand of my viewers, you're going to be invited to come to the awards ceremony if you want. And I invite all of the fans, all of the viewers to join me and the whole Map Reading Challenge crew at the Great American Outdoor Show the first day that it opens. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, the Bowtech is going to be given away just before Thanksgiving in November. So, if you're planning to do hunting after Thanksgiving, even in the late season, you could be hunting with your brand new Bowtech. So, thanks for tuning in this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the rest. God bless, and I'm excited for this season.